I am back and I love this, this the D. Armstrong Show because we're able to bring to light a lot of families and stories that you would not know about and you might not know that there's somebody out there who desperately needs you, your help. Do you think that we're our brother's keeper? This afternoon we have Alan and Donna Ray Blanchard on and uh, don't cry Donna. The story is this. She raised a beautiful son, homeschooled him in Smith Station, and then just one day, out of the clear blue, one day, it just happens, he begins to vomit and he goes to the hospital and they give him the worst news that you ever want to hear about your, your child. Alan needs a liver. He has esophageal varices. Varices. Varices, varices. You don't hear much about it. But you think that when something like this happens, do you think most people think, well, he has a legitimate illness, everything is going to be taken care of? But it's not. It's, it's not. not. I mean, there are medical expense, expenses, you know, that, that are not covered. A lot know, of the expenses lot. are not covered. You know, and so the family is cutting into household bills, yes. you know, and things like that. I won't pay the light bill. I won't do this. You have we'll to have to give up the house. We you might have, have to, to give up the car. Shoes. Wow. Well, how are you doing, Alan? I'm doing all right today, but most of the days is I have to stay in bed because I can't stand up. Mm. I just get too deep. Wow, wow. And I know he's a growing young man, and, 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 and it's, there's probably issues here. I know that I need the help, but when we're young, we don't even want to ask for the help, but he needs the help. What he can does. The, what can the community do? Because he's in a, a catch-22. He mm -hmm. needs the liver, but they won't put him on the transplant because, because he, he has breathing, breathing issues. issues, but he needs the liver. And what's causing the breathing issues? The liver. Actually, October 2nd, we go back to see a pulmonary doctor at UAB uh -huh. to try to get some answers about the breathing issues. And, you know, I'm not going to say if, I'm saying when. When, 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 Donna, yes. When he gives me the answers, you know, then hopefully everything will go step by step from there. Well, well let me ask you this. If he's approved for the waiting list, you're approved for the waiting mm -hmm. list, and you're put, it, put on the uh, liver transplant waiting mm -hmm. list, how frequently does a liver become available? Now, UAB is the only hospital in Alabama that, that takes um, livers, that takes organ donations. Uh -huh. So any time anyone has an accident in Alabama, the organ donations go straight to UAB. Oh, so, okay. So wow. it, it could be within a matter of a couple of hours or you know, it could be in the matter of a week or so. It just depends on when someone passes because he can't have a piece of one. The doctors yeah, have the, yeah, I've heard I've right. heard that where they can give you just a piece mm -hmm. of a liver and it, it, it the regenerates. The doctors have already said that his are so bad, his liver is so bad, he's got to have a whole one. He's he got to have the whole liver. Right. Wow. So what can we do to help? I mean, just get, get word out there, you know, that, get, that this kid needs help. Uh -huh. He's all I got left. I know that he knows you love him. Mama homeschooled her baby. <laughs> yes, and he did quite well. Did quite well. Is there an account, a GoFundMe? There is, yes ma'am, there is a you caring account. It's um the gentleman backstage said he had it. It's you caring okay. dot com slash Alan Rowell, his name. Okay. And then there is also a uh, a PayPal account that that goes straight to to my name. Okay. And again, I just want to remind people because there are people who who, who really believe that he needs help, so of course the government's going to step in. Of course, the government doesn't always step in no, and pay everything don't. you need. They don't. No. What, what are some of the areas where you find that, that, that uh, insurance is not paying for? Uh, it's just paying household bills, you know. Oh, okay. That. Just like I said, picking and choosing, you know. Uh -huh. When I have to go up there, 
I, after the transplant, I have to stay in Birmingham for four to six weeks, and that's fifty dollars a day, and that doesn't include food or anything like that. Yeah, he has to stay in the vicinity of the so hospital. So, if you, for four if, to when five, you do go weeks. for the treatment. Who's going to feed you? Who's going to pay for the exactly. lodging? You exactly. know, who's going to pay the bills? Because uh, when I talked with Donna the other day, I said, are you coming? You said, no, I can't. I've almost gotten mm -hmm. fired I have. trying to help Twice. my son. And uh, I can't just take off another day. So if he goes to Birmingham, you're going. So I'm you've got to make a decision. I'm losing this job because I have to be there with my son. He has to have me. And then at the end of the month, that bill's gonna come up and there's no money. Yeah, mm -hmm. I understand that. Wow. But there's no way I'm not gonna let him go by himself. Mm -hmm. There's no way. Wow. Has the community come forth? Do you think that people know enough about what's going on? Because generally we're a giving community, but I do know this, that a lot of times people will hear about something and they may not respond immediately. I they believe that might be the fact. They have to hear about it again They'll even tell someone, I saw a wonderful story, I'm going to give. And then they go about their mm -hmm. lives and they forget about it. Yeah. I think we have to remind them because I, I do believe, I'm convinced, there are hearts out there. There are people out there with money that don't yes, know what to do with. They're and good they're people. looking, yeah, they're looking for something to do. And you know that it's going for a good cause. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, tell me about Alan. <laughs> He's just there's a good kid. <laughs> he's just a good kid. But, you know, here lately with him being sick, you know, there's not much he can do. You know, but any other time, you know, he loves hanging out with his friends. Uh-huh. You know, and he can't do that here lately, you know, because he has an oxygen machine he has to be on at the house, you know, that's plugged in. But um, he enjoys spending time with his friends, you know. He wants to get back into going to school. and um, Auburn? And uh <laughs> and he he also um you know i think has aspirations to have something to do with computers he wants to go back to school and do something you like with working computers. with computers i see your auburn shirt and i did see that you um were participating in some were you at an auburn game in one of your pictures had, yes, they no. they had um invited him for a vip experience i and, saw that and they put Who, you were standing on, right next to it was yes, it Saban? Who were you standing next to? Um, he was standing next to um, Nova, the eagle, the war eagle. The eagle, yes. He was on the field when That's the eagle we took his flight. There we came, go! It came yeah. straight down uh -huh. to him, and he was on the field for warm-ups and when the players were announced to the field and everything. And What did you think about that loss the other day to LSU? Was, uh, they cheated. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> <laughs> he don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> but it's still the beginning of the season, Alan. <laughs> we'll be back after this break.